folks. Whew, it's a hot one today. Man, it's a hot one. Welcome back to Tough Duff. We got, as usual, uh, eight matches for you today of both the men and women's division. Four matches apiece. To move forward into our second broadcast of the Tough Duff competition, where the winners will not only receive a spiffy Tough Duff championship title, but also a contract for season five. Starting things off here with PFPG. Taking on, ooh, a disgusting dragon screw by Suzume Amari. Elbow to the midsection. There's a shot to the, the gutties. Oh, nice self defense flip there by Pia. Overhead shot and pulls her back. Almost a slick back there. Somebody's a fan of the Kings of Cool. And of course, Pia Pahina, or Pagina, Pagina. Don't really know the pronunciation, because I only know it through text. <laughs> Trained by the lovely Val Venus. <laughs> Face first into the turnbuckles, there's a back elbow. But Suzume refusing to let her stay in. Oh, hops in for a maneuver, but gets caught with the knee to the midsection. While Pia now placed her between the knees, lifts her up, displays. Almost a 180 spin but drops her right on her head, driving the neck. Only able to get a one count. Shows the toughness of Suzume Amari. And now Pia heading up to the top. Misses the elbow drop. She would have landed on her hip entirety. Grabs a hold of the leg, giving her a taste of her own dime tab. But that dragon screw whip. Goes for that kick follow-up. Catches in. Trips out. Into an STF. And notice the hand placement going over the mouth. And nose area making it difficult to breathe, but Pia, ooh, catching her in the temple with a back elbow. But Suzume definitely using the the tiniest elements to the most basic moves, because that's what that's the true form of it, folks. To break down your opponent, not just with blunt force attacks, but also cutting off the air circulation, making it difficult for them to breathe. And now Pia trying to work over the rotator cuff. Oh, Suzume getting out of it. Nice arm drag. But Pia now overpowering, putting her over the shoulder. Nope, Suzume wiggles out. Reverse DDT drop. It's referee Jeremy Davies officiating this matchup. Interesting roll through on that knee drop. Now working over the legs, trying to make it difficult for Pia to climb the ropes. Cross body! With a springboard step up. And now Suzume loading up, revving the engines. Can we go in for, oh, chanting hooty hoo. But blocks right across the ear. As Pia strikes back, cutting her plant short. With that spine buster putting a stamp on the end of that. One, no. Kick right to the back, almost directly onto the spine. And now there's the wiggle up in both directions. And the grind pulling the hair back. All that for 10 punches, folks. Shades of the classic Val Venus, her mentor. Rings in, deep pocket arm drag. Tell the fans, double deuces, 22s. Chops her down. And another one. Ducks the line. Off the ropes. Flying clothesline. And Pia backs up into the corner trying to get some composure. Oh. Boot to the face. Met with a back elbow. And now Susan May picks her up. Woo! Nice flip onto her feet. Pia just not letting her. Into a, oh, she gets caught into a motorcycle vroom vroom. Pia was not able to let her go for whatever big maneuver she was going to go for. Could have been a Death Valley driver. Could have been a Lucha Slam. But it seems working the back over. It's a form of attack for Suzume. Shot right to the midsection. Breaking free of the submission maneuver. And now Pia picking her up. Into that tombstone submission. 
And look at that! The base! The strong standing base! And Suzume taps! It's too much! That full, full fledged. Oh, jeez! It's just dropping her on her head! Disgusting! And another victory for Pia. All right, let's move on to the next matchup. Whew. I want to welcome you guys once again to Tough Enough as we head into the second broadcast. It's number two of seven. Moving onward into our season finale. We'll have more matches to announce for that as the programs progress. Now we start, as we started off with the women's division, we now head into the men's division. Oh, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're having an, a nice Sunday. On this Sunday. Here we go. Our second matchup of the day will be Mr. Aldo Anthony. And he will take on Andrew Ryan. Of course, these gentlemen. Mr. Aldo Anthony coming up short in his debut against Adrian Bacardi. Well, Andrew Ryan successful in his matchup against Kayla McKenzie. Both those aforementioned individuals will be in action later tonight as well as Andrew McCarty will be taking on Sir Jasper Healington and Caleb McKenzie taking on Game Fox. Well, I hope your shit painting is going well, Pico. Must be German art. Vegs or veggies. <laughs> Glad you're relaxing on your day off. That's like the best thing in the world. I have to go back to work later tonight, but it was actually a very chill, very nice weekend. Oh, chicken legs. That sounds incredible. Especially in that barbecue sauce. You which kicking into the fire pit of Aldo. Nice butterfly suplex by Ryan. Already taunting away at him. Is it now Bulldog Headlock dead center? Very textbook execution. Something that I've noticed about Mr. Ryan. Nice back suplex there by Aldo. I will say this. Aldo definitely has some of the best gear I've ever seen in the history of Tough Enough competitions. Shot to the midsection. Woo! Nice. Tag along, arm drag. Oh my god! Drop to hold, springing Ryan's head back as he catches it right in the throat. But he's not letting that throw him off his game. Nice roll through, kip up. Arm drag, pull. Overhead shot, and it seems. Oh! Reverse Frankensteiner on Aldo Anthony. Well, Aldo definitely pushed the pissed off button. Drops the knee right onto the nose tip. Goes for that cover. One. One count only. Oh, shit is picking up now. Rose Aldo over the top. Hangs on for dear life. Kick to the face. And now Aldo trying to reach in, but he's a little too far. Springboard. Drop kick. Right on the center of the forehead. And Ryan on Dream Street, but he snaps right out of it. Makes a right turn on Wake Up Boulevard. And throws him. No, Anthony lands on his feet. Cruise effects driving Ryan right on the back of his head. Overhead shot blocked, overpowering, over the top throw. 
But Aldo fires back with a forearm smash. Another drop kick. There it is. And Andrew Ryan. Definitely gave him a cup of good morning, America. And now grabbing the dreads. One Aldo kicks him in the back. Naldo did not like that one bit, but he gets caught in Dragon Suplex. Nice transition into that snap. And Ryan now heading up to the top. Telling him, yeah, man. <laughs> Drops in. No, misses the shotgun. Catches him with a fist press. Throws fists of fire. Tries to go for that choke. A slap to the face. Woo! Powering through. Like a piston. And now just scraping the boots on the face of one Ryan. One count only, folks. Andrew Ryan and Heldo Anthony are letting it be known. They do not like each other right now. <laughs> Fireman's carry takeover. Catches the knee. Driving that elbow right onto the kneecap. Arm drag. Oh, fireman's carry. Tit for tit. Brings Aldo back to his feet now. And Ryan slamming him down with that hammerlock scoop slam. Andrew Ryan now trying to slow things down a bit, but Aldo just letting him know he does not plan on doing this. Oh, a roll through! You do not showboat in front of your opponent like that. Andrew Ryan definitely proving that he takes any opportunity and tries to put it in his favor. Fortune smiles upon the bold, and that man is definitely a believer in that. Kick right to the back of the leg. Hooks in with the Tiger Suplex with a bridge. Beautifully, beautifully constructed, but only a one count. It's a kick to the midsection. Chops into the knee, off the side. Drives him in the ground with that spiking Hurricane Rana. But Ryan's back to his feet. Front face lock applied. Picks him up into the side slam. Drops him under the knee. And now pressing. Pressing in, trying to reverse fold him. Shades of Jason Voorhees. And Jason lifts. Friday the 13th, part 6. Damn good one. Kicks in. Spikes him down. Busting him open. One. Two. No. Aldo. Aldo Anthony. Still in this fight. And Andrew Ryan looking to put the closing chapter on this. Spearman, no! Ryan gets caught in a DDT. His charging force working against him as Aldo gripped onto his head and spiked him down on top of it. Kick to the midsection, going for it again. There's that runner! It looks more and more disgusting every time it's executed, folks. Arm ringer, short arm shoulder tackle to buy him some time. One, two, and Ryan knew that he was not going to get to a three, but it will tire him out. Springboard crossbody right across the back. Off the ropes he goes. Drops the elbow, but no, Aldo rolls out of it. As Ryan clenching in at that elbow. Back suplex. No, he lands out of his feet. Kick to the midsection. DET. As the bloodied skull of Aldo Anthony being busted open even further. With these head drop maneuvers. Close line. And another one. Ducks it. Pop up drop kick to the chest. And Andrew Ryan feeling... Saying, you stay down! This is my time! There's a code breaker! Hooks the leg! One! Two! 
No! Aldo Anthony! Putting Andrew Ryan in a state of disbelief! Kick right to the wrist! Flinching away in the pain. Turns in! Drops the shoulder into the underline of that arm. Gets caught in. DDT in the corner as you see. No bounce. No forgiving spring. There's Andrew Ryan now loading it up. Charges through. Spear right into him. Like Poseidon's trident. One. Two. Three. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Aldo Anthony picking up his second loss. Well, Andrew Ryan picking up his second victory. Damn, that was fun. Spain, you ain't tough enough. I am. And I'm going to season five. You watch me. You watch. And Andrew Ryan, a force to be reckoned with. Like a Terrence Malick Zod performance. Standing in all black with that authority. Man, that was a fun fight. I like that one. Everybody kicked it up. That was super dope. <laughs> Alright folks, here we go. Standard fucking fight as we usually do. For our second contest in the women's division for tonight. We shall see. Jessica King. Take on the extremely colorful Rosie Bonbons. Here we go, folks. Jessica King taking on Rosie Bonbons. Now, Jessica King, unable to score a victory in her previous match against Cassidy, but Rosie Bonbons able to, to grab one, well, the first loss to Suzume, for, for Suzume Abari, excuse me. Rosie Bonbons when it came home with one point at the end of night one. Let's see if she is successful in collecting a second point on night two. Here we go, folks. Oh, they look so tiny. Sorry. Nice Northern Lights suplex there by Rosie Bonbons under Jessica King. Now that we're closer to the action, Rosie now looking for some party tricks. Jessica King saying, where'd she go? Oh, don't turn around. Grab the bat away from Rosie. That could have been really nasty. And cross checks her right into those ropes. Rosie catching it right on the bottom of the chin. Jessica throwing it to the outside, getting her distance away, teaching Bonbons a lesson. Bonbons catches her with an elbow, tries to follow it through, but Jessica not, manages to land her into a firewoman's carry. Whips off into the ropes. Catches that kick inside thigh, getting a little purple to it. Transitions. Oh, tripping out her foot! And landing her eyes first onto that rope! As she gets that baseball bat back in. Jessica King clocks it right onto the ear, throwing off her balance. Short on back elbow. There's a cross chop. Around block, punch directly into the stomach. Props up for the run of Madrosi. Oh! -hoo -hoo! Drops her. Alley style onto that bat and headbutts her. Kokeshi style. Kokeshi clown. And another one! This clown's fucking insane! 
No ICP jokes that you're banned. <laughs> Double knees deflected. Oh, Rosie did not land good on that one. Jessica now staring at her like a vengeful spirit tries to go for that twisting neck breaker. And now Fireman's Carry into a wibbly wobbly timey wine here. She calls it pinwheel spin. And now picking her up once again. She's going to be going for it once more. Yes. Almost a Gravitron. Oh, a TKO. Nicely executed. Wrestle Quindom. I like that. Back elbow. And now heavily throwing her back into the ring. Chopping down on the hairline. And place her in. Irish Root Reversal. Face first into the corner. Bouncing her off. Chaos Theory. German Suplex. What a high angle. Elbow strike tries to go for that open hand slap. Dave Schultz style. Goes for a secondary kick saying, you can't see me. Fucking hell. Just completely collapses her. Like a tent. Oh, gets caught in. King now. Thought she was going to go for a shining wizard or something. Rosie. Drops her down face first. One. Two. Two count only. Your pull, wow. Face first into the turnbuckle. Double axe handle to the back. Oh, drives that elbow right into the eye socket. Face first into the corner again. Once again, the history repeats itself. Over the top goes King. Fires back on the forearm shot. Springboard. Hoya can run and landing on her feet. Beautifully executed. Jessica King showing that incredible athleticism. And now, Rosie, that snap suplex. Authoritative. Hooks a leg. One. One count only. Bypassing that drop kick. Catches in with that choke slam. No, Rosie not falling for it. Manages to get the elbow right into the ear. Floats over. Kick to the leg. Tries to follow through. Rosie now trips out. Spins her over. Oh, almost an El Paso last when she's in those ropes. It's a curry. Dropping her down. Rosie now spinning her right round. Drops onto that face again. One, two, three. Rosie Bonbon. Second victory in this competition. Well, I found out something new about myself when it comes to clowns. <laughs> All right. Great matchup. Great matchup. Full. Well, after this, four more matches will remain. So we head into the second bout for the men's division. Here we go, folks. My pick to win this competition, Sir Jasper Healington, will take on the very impressive, the very the man who de demands your attention.
Mr. Andrew Bacardi. Jasper Healington one definitely not to shy away from our very lenient disqualification rules here at WFWF and Toad definitely having no love loss for Mr. Mr. Healington Here we go. Lock up. Oh, a sling blade to start things off as Bacardi not taking any chances with the dirty tactics of Sir Jasper Healington. Short arm shoulder tackle. Shot right to the midsection. Are those sunflowers on his knee pads? Beautifully executed shoot in. Fireman's carry takeover with that kick to the back. Pissed off Bacardi. Swings over. Nice reverse with that Northern Lights suplex. That was a smooth ass transition. I tell you what. Healington strutting like an asshole. Dropping the knee on the back of the platinum bleach blonde head of Bacardi. Adrian Bacardi. He teared down with almost a gym break special and murdering his shoulder. Of course, Healington with a victory over Marty Gilbert. And Bacardi kicking off the, t the competition. Oh, nice back suplex with a victory against Aldo Anthony. And again, he does not like to be Indy kicked or need the back. Super kick, spinning. Healington down into the corner. One count only. Damn, that was a big kick out. Tries to follow through with that temple kick. But Healington goes to the deep pocketed thigh shot. Reverse CDT drop. Jacks the jaw. Clothesline ducked. Step up, Enzaguri to the face by Adrian Bacardi. The short arm shoulder tackle. Healington taking the proper bow. Letting the fans know that he loves them. Stomping away at the arm. Healington now looks like he's going to be, yep, going underneath the ring. Bringing in a steel chair. Right across the hip. And why is Bacardi selling the wrong side? Hit the knee, especially. Ducks that line. But catch that with that clothesline second. Overhead shot block. Healington firing right across. So let's go for that knife edge chop. Gets the back elbow, though. Ducks the line. Checks the prostate of Adrian McCarty, dropping him down. The referee can't do anything about it. We want to find out who really is tough enough. One, two, no. Healing did thought for sure that would work. Yay! And now picking him up. No, I needed the head. European uppercut. It's one of my favorite strikes. Scraping the boot right across. And now Healington. Working over the arm, once again holding it in place, stomping away at the fingers! Just trying to snap them! With those jackhammer-like stomps. Picking up, no, Bacardi rolls out of the way. Ellington just catches up, says, come here, boy. Leading him against those ropes, but Bacardi throws him over the top. Ellington not wanting to go into the lava, fires one across. Fireman's carry takeover by Bacardi. 
Tries to go with that scoop slam, but Healington planning himself. Power the punch! There it is! And he seemed a lot quicker on the draw for that one as he rolls Bacardi onto his back. One, two, no! Bacardi escapes! And now, Healington saying, all right, boy, you want to play? I'm more than happy to oblige. Trying to capture him into the knees, but you can't capture a man named Sir Jasper Healington. He would know how to world of sport his way out of it. Side Russian leg sweep. Catches that boot, though. Trips it out, shoving down the pasty, tasty body. Single leg crab. Trying to hyperextend the kneecap, but no! Healington shoves him off. And now picking up Bacardi. Rolls in. Oh, this can't be good. No, Bacardi escapes. Reverse DDT. And Bacardi waiting for Healington. He knows not to get too close. There's a kick to the side of the head. Uppercut. Bouncing the back into those turnbuckles. But he reverses, throwing Healington right into the corner. Healington scrapes the forearm right across the eyes. Another one. Bacardi buying some time with the fireman's carry takeover. And lifts him up. No, Healington reverses. Sit down, reverse DDT. And now loading up that punch once again. Bacardi, look out. Down he goes! There's blood in that Bacardi! As Healington tries to dislocate the shoulder. Or hit the rotator cuff. Clothesline ducked! But catches Healington right on the knee! Into the midsection! Fisherman's Buster! Suplex! No! No, the light suplex! But he's too close to those ropes! Is Healington now dragging the bloody body? Oh! Drops that knee. Making that sunflower a little red. And drops the knee right on the back of the skull once again. McCarty trying to get back to reality. Oh! Shot to the midsection. Close it over the top. No! Healington throws him over the top. And now Healington wants to play on the outside as he tells McCarty, get back to your feet. Shoulder tackle! Did you hear the thickly thud? Streeps in. Oh, what a... That wasn't even a neck breaker. He dropped his bloodied face right on the knee as you see more crimson covering the front of Bacardi's skull. John Jack. Fireman's carry takeover. Arm shot. Jaw Jack there as the referee missed during the 20 count. Clothesline. Pure, simple, effective. Healing to breaks free. Your peanut butter cut. Taken Bacardi on the other side of the ring. Throws him down. And takes another bow. Catches in. No, McCarty kicks out. And drives the face of Healington into the bat. Where's McCarty going? Saying this isn't fair. Son, who gives a shit about fair? Get your ass in the ring. Finish this matchup. Saying he will not continue. Jasper says, all right then, suit yourself. Bacardi protesting this contest. Get back in the ring. What a show of unprofessionalism. And Healington wins via count out. Bacardi saying he is protesting this competition demands a fair shot 
Wait a minute. I just noticed something. Where did they take off the turnbuckle? You know what? Since since Bacody, as I'm going to call him now, because of that display of unprofessionalism, we're going to play the victory theme because Healington totally would have finished that match. I cannot believe what I just saw, ladies and gentlemen. Adrian Bacardi. Pretty sure I called him Andrew. I don't care. He doesn't deserve the proper name after what he just did. There we go. And Bacardi not doing himself some any favors, just throwing a bitch fit in the middle of that matchup. There isn't peaks. I'm uh, that's the only time I'm playing a, a theme really, mainly because a lot of people from all over the world, well, the, whoever follows this and has told me in the back that they have uh, are unable to watch any of the broadcasts because. YouTube and copyrights and a bunch of other regional bullshit won't let them watch the show because a song is not allowed in their country or something? That's the dumbest shit I have ever heard in my life. Alright, let's move on now, folks, to our third women's contest. What we shall see. Jill Turner. Take on. No. Cassidy. Yes. It is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Taking a look at the fact sheet here. Jill Turner had a victory against Victoria Valentine, who will be later on tonight in action. Well, as Cassidy got herself a victory over Jessica King. Here we go as they carefully approach each other. Cassidy using her strength to her advantage, throwing her in. Turner now escaping. Tat for tat. Back elbow to the eyes. Spins over and look at the strength. Whoa, the agility of Cassidy. Dropping Turner right on her neck. Bouncing her off that turnbuckle. Exploder! Dead centered like nothing. Spinning leg drop. Yes, hitting her with that exploder with the greatest of ease. Not even doing a base plant or anything. Just simply lifting her arms and taking her with her. Dragon suplex with a bridge. One count only. It's Jill Turner. Definitely has her work cut out for her. Cassidy. One of the most agile, mobile, and hostile. Nice swinging neck breaker there by Turner. Irish whip reversal over the top. She goes. Blocks a shot right across the face. Tango's out of it. 
Drops her down with that flatliner. Cassidy inviting Turner to get back to her feet. Big boot to the nose. Hurricane Rana. Whoa, look at the power of Turner! Catching and holding her! Switching into the fireman's carry! She should have just dropped her right then and there! Cassidy escaping with those back elbows. My God, what strength by Turner! And gets speared down to the ground. The referee administering the 20 count. Cassidy looking down at her, taking her time with this continued punishment. But Cassidy gets thrown into those steel stairs. Those 42 ton stairs just arm dragged. Getting arm dragged on. Catch Cassidy, a schoolgirl roll through. Catches in, butterfly DDT. Right onto the floor. Hip toss neck breaker by Turner. Seems she studied the fighting patterns of Cassidy. But Cassidy pulling that strength out even more. Tries to go for a follow-up kick to the rear. Drop kick to the knee. And Turner now definitely seems to know her opponent. Flurry of strikes and kicks. Right across the face with that knee. Just swing it across like a bag on your hip. Posing corner. Cassidy catches her. Drives the elbow right into the shoulder. Off the ropes. Tries to flip through, but no. Cassidy sidestepped it. Seems Turner's not the only one who's done her homework. Hits her with a boingy. Now placing atop the second rope. Elbow drop. No, she missed. Cassidy's head was in the way, but she rolled out. When fate on her side, throwing down Turner. That snapmare attempt. You hear the grunt on that forearm smash. And now putting Turner on top. Big slap to the face. As Cassidy now. Oh boy, looks like she's going to take her outside. High angle suplex to the floor. And what a reverse fish flop that was. By Jill Turner. And the fans showing their appreciation for the brutality. Being displayed right in front of them. Courtesy of Cassidy and Jill Turner. Double back elbows. They need to get back into that ring. Shot right to the ribs. Swing and neck breaker there by Turner. And throws Cassidy right into the stairs. They need to get back inside. Catches him with the run. Oh, Turner catches her once again. Power bomb. With a follow-up elbow and a kick to the face. Her headbutt, excuse me. Get back inside. Cassidy gets thrown in. And Turner slams down the chest at the edge of the apron. Hooks the leg. One. No, a one count only. Oh, after all that, only one count. And Turner now. Picking her up with that tombstone. No, Cassidy reverses. Drives her down onto the top of the head. Double stop that high elevation. And all the way crashing down on the chest. One, two, three. Cassidy is victorious once again.
always leaving me breathless and impressed is that Cassidy. <laughs> Excellent post there, Ginger. On Twitter. Yeah, I would have been upset at another count out. That would have been very unacceptable. All right, folks, here we go. With our second to last men's competition bout. For its Game Fox versus Caleb McKenzie. And according to the back sheet here, last uh, broadcast, Game Fox coming up short with a vic with a loss to Connor McCarthy. That was a very interesting matchup, by the way. While well, Caleb McKenzie came up short against Andrew Ryan. And of course, Marty Gilbert and Connor McCarthy will be in action later tonight. But first, let's get to this matchup. Game Fox loosening up. Well, as McKenzie throwing him off into the ropes. Drop kick as he just falls to the ground like a log falling off a truck. Back elbow, second one. Fox now very quick on the draw with his strikes and maneuvers, but just completely getting blindsided there by McKenzie and his brute force. Definitely a specimen of athleticism, strength, and power. Shoving down Game Fox like nothing. Game Fox, though, catches him, drives the face, turning it into the knee. Over the top he goes. Forearm smash. And now just look at that power. No, he slips out the back. And surprising with strength of his own. Discus forearm to the back of the head. Overhead shot. Oh, just driving the back of the neck onto that knee with such a quick snap. We definitely can see where Game Fox is focusing his aggression. Shot to the kidneys. McKenzie now gets a jaw jack. And Fox now going in for the balls of brass. There it is, driving him down. And just staring at one unlucky crowd member. Going to invade their dreams later on. And Fox shooting in for the finisher, but no, McKenzie saw it coming. Picks up over the shoulder. Reverse DDT. Standing back body drop. Lateral press. One. One count only. Goes in. Back fist, back fist, back fist. That third one knocking down, spinning McKenzie. We don't know much about Game Fox. Definitely a man of mystery and many talents. McKenzie, though, playing possum. The inside of the thigh, bruised a little bit. Oh, nice gut check. Discus Lariat! 
folding Game Fox. Almost putting his toes on the top of his shoulders. It's McKenzie now. Looks him up, lifts him up, and drives him down with that shotgun stunner. One, two, no! McKenzie getting the crowd fired up in his corner. Game Fox just able to turn the tides in a snap of a finger. That second noise was me cracking my knuckles. <laughs> and now McKenzie looking down at Game Fox on the outside, much like Fox did earlier on. Crossbody reversal! And steps right on the top of the ribs. Never seen anything like that. Close line! Almost taking his painted head off. Chucks that knee right against his knee. Almost like a click clack of catastrophe. Runs him to the back of the dreads. And now throws him, rips first into the guardrail. But McKenzie fires back. Kisses the pole for good luck. Step up. Trips out the toe. Let's kick to the midsection now. The bit referee getting further and further onto that 20 count. Look at the power. Game Fox slamming down McKenzie. And they need to get back inside. Oh, he deflects the kick. Jaw Jack. Belly to belly. No, reverses it. Trips out the leg. Ducks the line. And a secondary clothesline. McKenzie. Getting back in. Game Fox better hurry up. Get in the ring. Nope. Nope. Fuck you. We're restarting this matchup. I detest. I protest this. Game Fox was back in before the count. So eat my ass, referee. Restarting the match now. Picking up. Carrying these two, picking each other apart, bit by bit. Back elbow. Almost doing that arm drag. Gives one of his own. Drop kicking a beauty. Game Fox trying to trap him out. There's that flatliner. McKenzie now cutting the ropes. As Fox now scoop, shoots in for the scoop slam. And McKenzie catches him with a knee. Picks him up. Plants one on top of the head. Shoots in. German suplex. No. Amateur slam this time. A simple stomp to the white face of Game Fox. And just simply toy with it. Really? You're going after it? Whatever. One. One count. And now McKenzie being a gym douche. Wiggles through. Planting the face of Game Fox right in the center of the ring. Shoots in, tucks under, balls of brass. Shot right to the ribs. Overhead blocked. Warm smash. The 
Comes through. Now placing in over the top goes McKenzie. And this is very dangerous, familiar territory. Drops the leg, asshole style. <laughs> Draw Jack by McKenzie. As Fox buying himself some time. If these assholes get another count out, they don't get any points. As the back elbows continue. To break free of the grass. The referee still administering that 20 count. You assholes better get back into the ring. And Fox hurrying back in. Mackenzie following. And Fox ready to rock and roll saying come on. Picks in again. Balls of brass! Waiting for that late, the other shoe to drop. And. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Shoots in for that finish. McKenzie buys himself some time. Jaw check. Flatliner! Fox goes for the cover. No! Mackenzie's still fighting! Winds up! And, wow, not even a thud sound! Blocks the elbow, delivers one of his own. These two basic bitches are just completely <laughs> reversing and one-upping each other. Arm drag reversal there by Fox. Picks in. Michinoku driver right in the corner. Most unforgiving part of the ring as he loads up one more time. Balls of brass. Cover. One, two, three. Game Fox. That's what I think his theme song would be. Because that's what it sounds like in the game. Or Gangnam Style. <laughs> and this mimey asshole, dressed like a court jester, takes the bow. Vive the Fox! <laughs> All right, folks, here we go with our semi of this evening. Or we shall see. In a standard Fukin fight. Moshime. Versus. Victoria Valentine. There we go.
All right. Going to the sheet here, Victoria Valentine came up short against Jill Turner in the previous broadcast. Mushime, Mushihime. Mushihime also coming up short against Pia Paya Pahina Pajina. <laughs> they go walking towards each other now. Nice wrist lock. Beautiful reversal by Mushihime. And now Victoria gets into a hammer lock in the back. Nice rotation. Wrenching in. Really wrenching it in. Just says, all right, fine. You can't escape it. I'll kick your ass another way. Back elbow there. Kick to the midsection. And now ripcord. Into a backstabber. And Victoria Valentine collecting herself. She definitely caught it in a bad spot. And wait a minute! Mushi taking out the referee! Big high kick! Holy shit! Swinging for the fences on that one! Mushi doing the worst heel tactic you could do, attacking the referee! Explode her into the corner! Shot in. Spinning back kick! Woo! Nicely done! Victoria Valentine, very impressive! Even in her match in the previous comp uh, competition broadcast, but came up short. She definitely impressed me. And punches her down into the lava. These two going to the outside. Cracks an egg over the skull of Victoria. And drops her! Rolls her right on the back of her head. Mushahime now grabbing her by the bun and throwing her into the distance. Victoria Valentine back to her feet. Catches into a runner. Oh no, this isn't good! Power bomb as her head hits the fucking guardrail. Lives up, suplex! And Musha, he makes driving those knees right into the face of Victoria Valentine. Here comes the bat right on the stomach. Oh, she rolls into it, kicks it out of her hand. That's some martial arts shit. Valentine gets thrown back in. Musha, he coming back right behind her. Heel jab right to the jaw. Valentine now tries to shoot in. Musha, he shoots off the ropes. Hurricane Rana. Say, like, yeah. <laughs> Valentine now collecting herself. Here comes Wushihime again. Drives the elbow right into the knee. Brain buster on the floor! Shades of Dick Murdoch on a Ted DiBiase. Lifting knee down she goes. Close line. Pops up the Rana into the side of that guardrail. Big set time blocked with those knees. Face first into the pole. Now tossing her back inside. Face busting! She grabs her and pulls her down. In the turnbuckles. Mushahime now going up to the top from the looks of it, courtesy of Victoria Valentine. What does Valentine have in store here? High angle arm drag! Damn, that looked like it hurt. One, two, two count only. Back elbow. Gets that jaw jack though, reversing. 
Tries to step up with a kick, but shoves off. Ushahime, boo, Ushahime. Tumbles are down with that, uh, th that clothesline. Vicious. That last elbow stretched all the way back like a slingshot. Valentine in trouble. Rolls out of the way of the elbow, though. Ushime very pissed off at that one. Thrown into the corner. And now placing Valentine on the top rope. But gets kicked off. Valentine now. Missing that drop kick. She almost jammed her knee. Ushime now. Meteora. One. Count only. The drop kick, as you saw right there, just injecting the neck. Ushime now. Ascending the ropes. Misses the splash. Valentine now resting in the corner. It's those shots in. Running knee! That got her! That got her! But Valentine's back to her feet! Kicked in the midsection there by Mushihime. Front face lock applied. Suplex textbook execution. And now spinning around on her belly. Pla uh, placing her into the deadlift position with that German suplex. Breaks free. European uppercut. It's that shot. Valentine now trying to get a maneuver in, but she's been beaten pretty badly this matchup. Mushahime not showing any mercy. Slips into the corner. Tries and gets that kick right to the face! Just came out of nowhere. One, two, two count, says the referee, Jeremy Davies. And now Valentine. Looks like she's ready to rock on this one. Rolls through. And the soul food! One, two, three, Valentine gets the victory. And she's rather proud of herself. All right, folks, here we go with our final contest of this broadcast. On the second episode of this year's Tough Enough competition. For it will be in a standard fucking fight. Connor McCarthy versus at WrestleMania. No, I'm kidding.
Uh, in the previous broadcast there, Marty Gilbert coming up short against Sir Jasper Healington, which he strongly, strongly made that vocal. Well, it's Connor McCarthy defeating Game Fox. I fix that. Either way. Swinging neck breaker. Shot right to the midsection. Goes across. Nice elbow to the mid, mid area. And gets thrown out on his pumpkin boots. So, are you guys saying that there's that McCarthy's taking a performance enhancer? We will conduct a thorough investigation. If it is, we're going to bump him down to the 80s. There's a pickup. Rolls through. Drop Super Reverse TDT. That arm drag reversal. I'm really scared this is going to end in the fucking double count out again. Both kicking the legs out of the legs. There's a back elbow. And another one. Break it free of the grasp. Oops up. Look at the strength. On the part. Whoa. Nice reversal. Why are they outside this log? Back into the ring they go. Thank goodness. McCarthy now. Whipping Marty off into the ropes. Colliding. Marty now. Catches him with that kick. Damn, that was beautiful. Our drag from the back, mind you. Now, springs him back with a boingy as Connor. Telling Marty to get back to his feet. And McCarthy springboarding. Misses. Oh, he might have dislocated his elbow on that one. Catches Marty in the face, though, with those two shots. Cross body over the top. Goes him down with a back elbow. In. Nice reversal there by Marty. Picks him up. Over the shoulder. Drops him down on the apron. Overhead shot turning around. Connor goes to that face thruster. No! Drives him down with that stunner. Spinning for him. He catches him. Dazing Marty. Marty saying, give me your best. Pulls down on the neck breaker. Never say that, folks. Just keep fighting. High knee strike. Close line. And throws him. Ribs first. Oh, back elbows. Throws Marty back on the inside. Connor following. Ducks the line. But hesitated far too long. Gets caught in a fireman's carry. Picks him up. Guillotine on the top rope. Irish reversal over the top. He goes. And now Marty. What the hell's he doing? DDT busting open Connor. Right onto the apron. Connor falls through, ducks that line, goes back on the inside. That was an interesting way to get back in. Yeah. 
Lifting up and dropping the knee. Down dead center of the ring. One, two. Is Marty Gilbert able to bust open Connor? Might bleed out some of them enhancers. Fireman's Gary takeover. Overhead shot now as Connor lifts him up. Teardrop suplex. Hooks the leg. One, two, count. And Connor could be getting close to his second victory. Was Marty looking to get his first? Lifts him over. Tries to go for that spinning elbow once more. But Marty now. Elba Marty water slide. Why are you showboating, you asshole? Turn around. Finish this matchup. Reverse whip. But Marty gets thrown in. Placed on top. Boots off. And now climbing to the... Whoa! Hits him with a blockbuster! As he swung in! I thought he was going to hit him with the forearm! But no, he lands that blockbuster! Springboard! Back heel kick! <laughs> that looked really unorthodox and not as clean in the execution, but he landed it right into the mush. One count only. Bravo, Marty! Picks him up. Nope. Ups down to that reverse TDT. As the blood dripping down. Connor's still going for those flashy maneuvers, but he's got to think a little more smart. There we go. Drives the shoulder down to Marty into the mat. And now, saying smoking. <laughs> As he throws Marty face first into the buckles. Stomping down. And Gilbert, not in a good position. Tell that one the Gregory Hines in the corner because he's just tapping those feet. One, two, two count only. As Connor looking extraordinarily tired. Like he was just putting a mandatory over, over, over time with no pay extra because he's salary. Connor now on the top. Drops him in with that Famouser. Or the Sicilian Slice. However you want to label that one, folks. Still taking time to pose pretty for the cameras. The fireman's carry takeover. Sweeps out the leg. Arm ringer drives a shoulder into the mat. There's a push off now. As Connor looking to execute Marty. Hooks him in, lifts him up, drives him down. Hooks that leg. One, two. No, Marty springing to life at the last second. And the fans starting to rally behind Marty. Short arm shoulder tackle. Really, Marty? You had the fans. Now they hate you because of that. And deflecting him. Spins through. DDT. Nice. Nice spin. And Marty loves those fucking short arm shoulder tackles, I tell you. On drag by Connor. Marty rolls back to his feet, charging in. Fist of fire, opening up the wound on the face of Connor McCarthy. 
John Jack. Oh, he catches him and slams him down. Two count only Marty now getting closer and closer to that three. But it's on the same side of McCarthy who also is getting closer to that three. Alpha Mori water slide. There it is. Why do you pick him up, Marty? Blocks that kick. Spins around. No! Connor catches him with that rebound. One, two, two count. Swings right into the ribs. Into the midsection now, Marty. Double underhook turns around. Oh, for a breaker! One, two, no! Connor kicked out at the three, but he was not quick back to his feet. Tries to go for that shot. Marty still keeping it in his favor. Lifts him up. No, Marty! Losing the grip. And the kidneys being attacked there by Connor, but Marty tries to get the over. And chop down to the floor. And now working over the knees. We know Connor is wanting to ground Marty, but Marty just swings right onto the face. And now striving the knee of Connor McCarthy down onto the floor. These men are giving it their all, especially Marty. Finding it a performance enhanced opponent. Lifts up. Knee to the head, breaks free. Lifts that knee, kick to the face, and a chest. And a hard eye was ripping into those stairs. Disgusting. Another one. And now Marty gets a taste of it. But they better get out of there. The corner is a dangerous spot. If you're wanting to avoid a count out. Marty slides in. And Connor beats it. Hammerlock slam. No, Marty swings up. DDT. Marty now hooks him in. Dead center, Alba Marty, water slide. Picks him up. Oh no. Hooks the head. Spikes him down with that bridge. One, two, three, no. Marty still unable to do the job. Pops up, shot to the belt buckle. Fuge misses that kick to the face. Connor now catches him. Flipping suplex head and arm. One, two. These men are displaying why they are in this competition. Lifts him up, drops him on the knees. Did you see all the breath, all the air, all the life come out of McCarthy too? No! As he slid down the shins of Marty. They stand face to face. Connor now kicking the knee. <laughs> Lifts him up. Brain Buster Sweet. Chocolate. One, 
Two! No! The kick across the back there, as you know, Marty. And Connor running on sheer adrenaline. There's that spinning back elbow. Marty now dead weight and it swings out. Hooks a leg and drives Connor. Lips first into the mat. Marty now. Oh shit, I think he's going for it again. Grabs the hair and ears. And spikes him down. One, two, three. Marty gets the victory. Now we can't bitch and moan about that 94 overall, but we're still going to put Connor back into the 80s. And Marty letting the fans know that he's he has arrived. <laughs> that Gil <laughs> the Gilbert Tizer? Oh, Gilbertizer. The Gilbertizer. He just killed that 12 year old girl. What the fuck? <laughs> and Marty, look at that shit eating grin of victory. Oh, shit, Ginger. <laughs> Ginger throwing some firebombs the way of, of Marty Gilbert. Well, folks, that is going to do it here for this broadcast of Tough Nuff 4. Please join us for our third of seven broadcasts. We are drawing closer and closer to find out who will be in the finals of both the men and women's division and head on into Season 5 as Tough Nuff champion and the fresh signee with a new spiffy contract in the WFWF locker room. Thank you so much, folks. Follow this channel. Follow me at Dino Whitwood on Twitter. There's a buy me a coffee link if you want to throw a couple of coffee dollars. I don't know. I don't really know how this works. But anywho, folks, I'm more than happy to just do this for you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you to the people who submitted to this. and We're doing great so far. I love you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. This is Dino Whitwood saying, OU818. Oh,